How's it going, guys? Still June 12, 7:30 p.m. for the uh, last vlog for today. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys about this will be titled "Taking Breaks." Um, recently took, um, you know, missed a couple shifts at work on my own accordance. Um, you know, obviously had my brother uh, cover for me. Um, we do that for each other all the time, but. Um, Decided to take some time and, and really spend more time with the family. Plus, I wasn't feeling all that well, so kind of used it to my advantage to spend time with my family and just kind of enjoy some time off. I obviously don't get too much free time to do too many different things, and I just firmly believe in keeping your schedule full. But it is okay to take breaks, um, and kind of a reflection of that. Um, I do enjoy taking the breaks, but they do become addictive um, in a way because I didn't necessarily was want to go back to work um you know on saturday evening i was thinking about not going which i, I could have easily have not gone but i decided to go to fight the you know the willpower to stay home plus uh, my girls my wife and my daughter would have uh, been going to sleep anyways so it was an opportunity for me to uh, make money plus break the cycle of uh, you know uh, wanting to take more time off because I do find it um, very empowering to take time off incrementally, you know, take a break incrementally. Um, but it can become, you can be, you know, addicted to taking that break just as easy as you can be addicted to working and overworking yourself. So I think it's a good balance and something I would recommend to a lot of different people um, that I mentor, you know, just take a break from time to time, enjoy, stop to uh, I guess the better reference is stop to smell the roses, all the things that you're working hard for, that you're working to pay for, that you're working to live for. Um, make sure that you're enjoying those things from time to time. Um, I was recently thinking today, I have been on a motorcycle that I uh, paid off um, last year in probably a couple months. It was just sitting in, in my garage and I was so adamant about getting it. <coughs> and then you know, so adamant about paying it off, which I did both things and have done things to it, um, you know, to upgrade it, to kind of keep it fresh and new. And that's kind of what keeps uh, me going is to keep those types of, uh, keep things new and fresh in my life. But I was thinking about that and how badly I wanted that bike. Um, and I have yet, you know, I haven't had a chance to ride it. And I was going to take it out today. But the weather wasn't, um, it wasn't the best weather to be out and about in a motorcycle. It rained earlier and then there was a chance of rain to follow when I thought about riding my motorcycle. So I chose not to risk it <coughs> around the experience right now. I just rather not risk it and be caught up in a storm or been caught up before and it's not, not a pleasant experience. Um, so. Again, the gist of this one is to um, stop and smell the roses of the hard work that you achieve and that you continue to achieve, and that way you can make the most of the time that you do spend and you know, enjoy your free time. Countless times I'll find myself on the couch watching TV, um, not really enjoying the time, and um, it's times when I'm out with my family and out doing stuff and getting stuff done, or, you know, like I took Sunday off to switch with my brother. We went out to that same farmer's market where I could have been working, but I chose to spend that time with my family. And that's where I had the realization of the four generations of women walking around together in the farmer's market that I found rather interesting. And had I not taken a break um, from work, I probably wouldn't have had that realization. Taking those time to, to smell the roses and see that, uh, I think is really important for everybody. I mean, you have to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, and the, the best way it's been put to me is don't uh, don't work to live, live to work. Oh, I'm sorry, I got that backwards. So don't don't live to work, work to live. So enjoy the fruits of your labor. Do the things that you enjoy doing after you get uh, get your things done, or if you choose to take a, a break from your work so you can enjoy some time off and people can appreciate you as well whenever you do take that time off. Um, sometimes they'll miss you, they'll miss your work ethic, they'll miss your efforts and, and it builds a, a good realization of that if you are a good employee. 
if you're a bad employee, they may be happy that you're gone, unfortunately. But uh, that'll be it for this last vlog. Um, I just want you guys to understand how important taking breaks are and enjoying those things that around you are just as well as, you know, keeping up with your commitments, such as work, school, and whatever else you got going on in your life. So I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I will see you on the next one.